Hi y'all, Connie here. This is going to be just a little informal tutorial on how to work into the third loop of half double crochet stitches. So what I have here is I've got three rows of half double crochets worked under the top two loops of your half double crochet stitches. So just kind of like you would normally do. But what we're gonna do on the next row is we're gonna work into that third loop, which if you're looking here, that's the third loop running along right here. And when we're working in rows, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna see it on the back side there. So what we're gonna do for the half double crochet, we yarn over first, and then instead of going under the top two loops like we would normally do, we're gonna come down here to this bar and we're gonna insert a hook from the bottom going towards the top, yarn over and then complete your half double crochet as normal. So let me show you again. So not the top two loops of the stitch, but instead under this bar and half double crochet as normal. So what that does is it leaves the tops of the stitches unworked and they're gonna pop forward on the opposite side. So let's do a, a couple more here so you can get a better idea of how it looks on the other side. Sorry, it's a little bit awkward for me to try and crochet <laughs> in front of the video camera like this because um, it's a little bit closer than I normally do it. We'll stop there and we'll go ahead and turn. So here are those stitches that we left unworked and they kind of pop forward on the other side. So now we're going to half double crochet into the third loop of this row of stitches. And again, that's gonna pop the top two loops of each stitch forward to the back of our work or to the opposite side that we're working on. So when you're working this stitch in rows instead of rounds, you're gonna see this texture on every other row. Um, whereas if you're working this stitch in the round, you get to see it on every row, which is why in patterns like the Indubious Neck Warmer, I have, instead of working half double crochets into the third loop, I work a row of single crochets into the third loop instead and then do another row of half double crochets to work into so that I get that texture on the same side just a little bit closer together because as you can see here, doing two full rows of half double crochets kind of spreads these um, texture rows out quite a bit. So imagine if you had a row of single crochets there instead, it would kind of it would be a little bit shorter there. So it wouldn't space that texture out just as much. Now, if you're working in the round, then you would be able to do it every other row and you would be working into the stitch like this. So it would be from still kind of, like if you flip it all the way over, it would be from the bottom up. But when you're working into it this way, it would be, this is not a very good example, I apologize. But you would work, insert your hook like this and then work your stitch and then go to the next one. So it's a little bit different working it in the round, but you still get this great texture because it pops the front of the, or the top of those stitches forward. So I hope that helped you in learning how to do the half double crochet into the third loop. And one of these days I will get around into <laughs> doing a more formal tutorial, but I thought that I would give this a try and see what you guys think. So let me know. Thanks. Bye.